Well, hey everybody, Subtag here today. We're gonna move some dirt. Do any of you remember this old video of mine? If you want to get something done, you're going to have to get up off the couch and go get well, it Well, that done. was from an old video that I had made about leveling the ground where I set up a raised bed garden. And I believe it was titled On Level Ground. Anyway, that bed is coming down and I'm going to build longer lasting beds. So, I thought I'd share the tear down just as I had shared the build about three years ago. Wow, three years. Has it been that long? Well, anyway, take a look at some of this old footage and you can see how much work I put into the leveling and uh, the raised bed. Now, here's the spot before any work took place. And I just started by building a level frame, shoveled in the dirt, backed it down to make it solid, stacked the blocks, and of course, I'm gonna take them out and reuse them. Then I filled the block frame with more dirt and packed it down to make it solid too. Then after adding the 2x8 frame, I filled it with good soil and started growing stuff in it. You know, stuff was growing there. Three years, I grew stuff in that frame. It was a stuff grower. And it was a great thing. But to last, after three, four years of taking a beating from the sun and the bugs and the weather, it's time to tear it down and to replace it with new, better cylinder block beds and put them in better locations. But first I needed to take out the old beds and this particular bed is the last one standing. Let the tear down begin. All right. Uh, we also And now, as the title has promised, you can see me moving dirt. Did you see that? Wasn't that cool? Me moving dirt? You know, I had it in a wheelbarrow and I, and I, and I moved it. Once again, notice how I let the boy do most of the work? Well, after I seen that there was a rhythm going on, somebody quit on me. And I continued to sweat. See that? I watch. He shovels. Pretty freaking smart, huh? <laughs> Okay, okay, I did some of the work too. Teamwork. Now, it's the boys' turn again. All right, another full wheelbarrow. And you know what that means, right? You got it. I moved some more dirt. You gotta watch out for him. He likes to videotape everything. I don't know if you've ever heard of Jeff Dunham, and he has jalapeno on his seat. Well, the old man, he's got a camera on a stick. And he videotapes everything. And I'm talking everything. Oh, geez. Now the boy thinks he's a YouTube star or something. Well, I'll fix that. Back to work. By the way, did you see my cool new boots? They're snake boots. Yeah. I'm wearing my snake boots just in case there's snakes in the dirt. In case there's snakes on the ground by my feet. 
so I don't get bit. Well, I like them. Well, I like the boots. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's time once again to move some dirt. But we'll let the boy do it this time. Show off. In the next clip, I graze one of the cylinder blocks with my pick. Now, as insignificant as that may be, it still got our attention. Close. Well, at the time it got our attention. As it turns out, there are millions of cinder blocks hit every day. Anyway, we moved on with clearing the spot and moving dirt. I would swing the pick and the boy would operate the shovel. And we would take turns manning the wheelbarrow so that we both could move some dirt. I even had the cool idea of strapping my contour camera to my hoe. No, not that hoe! No, not that one! <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutters. Cool, huh? Well then I thought, well how about an angle from the hoe when I'm not moving it around? And he videotapes everything. I'm talking everything. Well how about this angle? And of course we can't make a video about moving dirt without the obligatory angle from the wheelbarrow. Seriously, I don't want to know everything that he videotapes. Anyway, once we had all the dirt moved, it was time to move all the rocks that had accumulated on the one side of the raised bed. And you might be wondering, Subtag, how did you get all them rocks on the one side of the raised bed? Don't ask. He's always moving piles around. Anywho, it went something kind of like this. And what does a prepper do with all those rocks that need to be moved? Put them in another pile, of course. And this was as good enough a spot for a pile of rocks as any other. See what I mean? He's recording everything. So we went on to finish with the rocks. Now I know it looks like work, and it is, but it was also an opportunity for me and the boy to spend some time together. You know, reconnect, bond, strengthen our relationship, make that father-son thingy happen. But most important, he worked really hard and I didn't have to. <laughs> anyway, when we were done moving the rocks, we called it a day. However, there was still the issue of the cylinder blocks sitting there. So the next day I came out and finished the job. I lifted the blocks and cleaned them off and then set them aside for future projects. After the blocks were removed, I took down some weeds, raked up any excess dirt and rocks, shoveled it all up and then smoothed out the spot with a rake. And there you have it, almost no evidence of the very productive stuff growing raised bed that used to live right there in that particular spot. Quite a contrast, huh? Well, everybody, there you have it. We moved some dirt. Yeah, 
and I videotaped it. So I thought, really? A video about moving dirt? That's what I do. I'm a YouTuber. I videotape everything. Well, not everything. Seriously, I don't want to know everything that he videotapes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a like, make some comments. And if you haven't done yet done so, subscribe so you can, uh, you know, get the hint when I put up another video. Well, I hope you enjoyed the fun that went on between me and the boy. And just know it's all in good taste and fun. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. And this is Subtag. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. We moved some more dirt. We'd shovel it into the wheelbarrow. Move some more dirt.